Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Welcome back to my let's play of the 2K16 My Career Mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, and we are here to fight the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla on this fine Sunday morning at about 10 a.m. right now. Uh, and our authority goal here is have red leg health. That's probably not going to happen, but somehow we are favorable because I guess we beat Sting at WrestleMania, so that, you know, counts for something, but. We are currently in a, in a rivalry with Bad News Barrett, who is the current Intercontinental Champion, and by hook or by crook, I'm taking that damn belt from Wade Barrett. It's gonna happen. I don't think they can stop me this time, and apparently they're gonna want us to interfere in this Triple H Bad News Barrett uh, thing, so I guess I'll let that load up as, you know, things progress here on this fine Sunday. How you guys doing on this Sunday? I'm tired. I'm, I'm trying to get things sh short up uh, for the day here, and as always, I'm always running a little bit behind schedule, but it kind of is what it is here on YouTube, uh, and in terms of wrestling news, not a whole lot this morning. There was some indie show, I guess, with AJ Styles yesterday, day before. Oh, no! Oh, no! Where uh, he was in the ring before match, after match, I don't know, and the fans started to chant... Royal Rumble, and he's all like, well, if I was in the Royal Rumble, then I would certainly kick some ass for you guys. The key word there being if. Now, obviously, both him and Nakamura and uh, Gallows and Anderson are all in there, you know, ne negotiations. Although, you know, obviously, if they're reporting it on WWE.com, you know, it's pretty much uh, a done deal. However, the thing you have to understand with WWE being the company that they are, it's not like any other rinky-dink independent thing where you can just say, hey, do a handshake deal, cut me a check, and I'll show up. It's There is a bunch of health testing to go through, there is a bunch of legal mumbo-jumbo to go through, there's, there's so many different things you have to, so many different things to deal with to actually... Before they will even put you in a ring, show up in a ring to wrestle, there are so many different layers of red tape to get through, and the Royal Rumble is next Sunday. So, would it even be feasible for all that red tape to be gotten through before the Rumble on Sunday? That's the question there, whether or not they can manage to speed that up. Uh, what the hell, Jericho? Whether or not they, they can manage to speed that up to make that happen in time, to make it a surprise thing in the Rumble for AJ Styles, who knows. Uh, I don't even think Nakamura is in the States yet. I, I think he's on his way at some point, uh, but I know his New Japan contract wasn't up until the 31st, obviously, after the Rumble, whereas AJ Styles was more of a free agent, you know, because that, that's, you don't have to be signed to New Japan to work for New Japan, uh, is my understanding of it. But, be that as it may, uh, whether or not we see AJ show up in the Rumble uh, remains to be seen. I'm just saying there's a bunch of red tape to get through for that, that to even be considerably feasible to happen. But my, my favorite part of the Royal Rumble season uh, and is like, you know, the day before. <laughs> that was like, a, that was like a, a Mortal Kombat leg sweep. Like, the day before the Rumble, or like, you know, like that Friday and Saturday, all of the airport pictures... Now, obviously, most of them are from, you know, years past and whatever else, but just the hype going into it, I go, look who's at the airport, it's Hulk Hogan. Now, obviously, you know, that is a picture from ten years ago, but still, it's still funny every time. Like, look who's in the airport, it's the great Kali, you know, it's just that stuff, I always get a kick out of that stuff on social media and whatever else, saying, look who's in the airport, look who's in town, because, you know, they, they usually have some kind of a surprise guy in the Rumble, or, you know, a couple of them. Like, you know, no one who's going to win it, obviously, but it's always good to see guys that, you, you, that perhaps you haven't seen in a while, you know? Or, you know, like last year. Last year they had Bubba Ray Dudley b b before they brought back, you know, the Dudleys. It was kind of like, wait, what? It was, it was a surprise thing. Obviously, being in Philly was kind of a big deal. Like, the crowd really enjoyed that. Um, what are you doing, Jericho? Oops. Got the shoulder up. Not gonna lose to cool dad Chris Jericho. Is lame. He's lame dad Chris Jericho. He's 
he should be a heel with that. With with with, with, with the nonsense that he's been doing lately, he should be a heel. But because he's he's a he's a quote unquote legend, they're booking him as a face. Um, but apparently, he's only around for a little bit here, like May or uh, you know March, May, something something like that. Like he might not make it to Mania, I think is what I heard. So I guess obviously him being in the Rumble is kind of la kind of laughable because obviously he's not going to win it. But why does he kick my ass so bad here? What the, what the, what the, hold on, let me actually attempt to focus on this shit because goddamn, why is Chris Jericho beating the Rudy Tootie Booty out of me? What's up with that? What's up with that? Let's give him the old Ebenezer spike. Boom. Do -do 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 -do. Grapple him. Big ol' Ebenezer Spear. I like that. That's good stuff. That is a, a lot of body mass coming right at you. It's good times. Wonder if I can reach from here. This is probably a bad idea. I totally nailed it. Totally nailed it. Yeah, eat it. This is my crotch. Anyway, uh, yeah, so not a whole lot else going on. Obviously, I am excited for the Rumble next Sunday. It is, I, I will, I will attempt to have a, my Rumble, like, doing the Rumble predictions is going to be tricky. I'm actually going to try to do it in a Rumble match in the game as I'm doing the predictions, but obviously they aren't going to have all the guys announced because they, 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 they never have all the guys announced. Uh, so I'll kind of have to fill in based on speculation and rumors. And, you know, that could be fun. Uh, but also, those matches take like a half an hour. And I don't sit here for a half an hour doing predictions. Like, you know, I'll do like 15 minutes. You know, maybe 18 on the high end. But never more than 20. Uh, so that's going to be tricky. Uh so yeah, that's, like, I'm gonna attempt to do that on, uh-oh, I'm gonna attempt to do that on Ziff Friday, like I usually do, so ex expect to see that on a Friday evening-ish, usually, uh, and I'm hoping they, they announce more of the card before, you know, the card happens, cause that, that'd be good. Alright, let's see if we can get off our, uh, Sent on here. Taking too long. When it's taking too long, it's taking too long. And you don't want to risk them having that get up and reverse your freaking thing into a thing. Because that would not be cool. Alright, now he's in position. Of course, now I don't have any... Oh, now I got a finisher. God damn it. Fine. Fine, Chris. Fine. We'll just take you out right here, right now. Boom. That's it. You've got nothing. I've got no stamina. Roll them over. And that is how we break the walls down. Yep. Done and dusted. And I don't want to ever see you in my ring again. All right, three and a half stars. Eh. Did not meet the authority order. Of course I didn't. Oh, look at that. My rank increased. I am now the number one contender who just happens to be feuding with Bad News Barrett. How about that? All right, let's fast forward to a SmackDown on Thursday. I actually did watch a little bit of SmackDown uh, from this past week. I hadn't really watched it in a long time, and people were saying, "Oh, the commentary is so much better now." So I, I, wa I watched a bit. It was all right. Uh, I've, I've heard. Oh no, I'm in the middle. I am literally in the middle. Literally. Um, I've heard that that, that they're that they're allowing. Uh, oh no, Chris Jericho. That Rudy Tooty Booty baby talk motherfucker. Uh, I've heard that they are allowing the King to be a bit more of a heel announcer 
which is, you know, how I recall the king being back in the day. It's getting hot in here. And we are now in a fatal four-way, which we haven't done in this spear, in this game yet. Like, this is episode 57? 50? I don't even know. Of course Triple H immediately gets a fucking chair. Of course he does. Counter F. <laughs> One count. He's wearing Sheamus out. Uh, I think that is a good idea. Mi Mr. H's, I think that is a phenomenal idea. As I uh, suplex Chris Jericho here. And I will get my own toy, which is the bat. And apparently hit the bat at the air. Boom! Aw, oh, he fucking grab. He was running at me. That's bullshit. Hey, Chris, where are you going with the bat? What the? Fine. You want to fight those guys? I'm gonna take the bat from you and hit somebody with it. Someone's getting hit with this bat. Damn it! What is this? Yeah. Right. So this, I'm. Uh, this is a first fall deal here, and the chance of me winning this, I would say, is pretty slim because there are too many other guys. This is complete and total chaos. And I don't know if I can deal with it. So, might just lose this one here because of reasons, but... I'm gonna wear out the game here. Mr. H's. The game, ah, With this steel chair. And build up our... Build up our signature. So, don't get the, get the bat, get the... Yeah, you guys stay out of the ring. Just stay out of my, my, my way here. Reverse that. What the hell? I hit them. I. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Boom. Just don't get up, Triple H. Just don't even bother getting up. There you go. Alright. That was pretty sweet. Did you hear that? And then we say to eat it. And now we have a signature. Not, not that we're going to get our, you know, pinfall off of that, but hey. Why the hell not? Cause I guarantee as soon as I hit this. And then hit a finisher, then we're not gonna get pinfall. So someone's gonna break it up. Not that Triple H is gonna get pinned off of you know his, his energy getting the, you know that low because obviously he's not. But gonna assume here as soon as I do this. Yep, there's Jericho. Yep. So having to incapacitate three other guys here is going to be. Uh, very tricky. Very, very tricky. But yes, I did watch some of SmackDown. Uh, I watched that tables match. Uh, and I watched, uh, the Del Rio Kalisto match. It was alright. Yeah. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be an ongoing problem in this match. Yeah. So you're... You're dependent on them being distracted by doing other shit outside the ring. Which is, like, not always gonna be the case. Get up, Ebenezer! It's like trying to win a tag match, but harder. Here we go. So. You can't submit him outside of the ring, Seamus. It's not how it works. Pin, I'm holding circle, and it's like, nope, not gonna do it. And here comes Chris Jericho. He kicked out anyway. Not even worried about it. Well, that's a problem, but I'm still in the green here. All these individuals are in the red, so that is good in my favor. If they all start beating me up, it's gonna be a problem. Didn't I just tell you I never wanted to see you here again, Chris Jericho? Wasn't that the case? I'm pretty sure I, I said those words. And yet, here I am, facing you in a fatal four-way for no fucking reason. Ah! Eat it. Eat it. Just gonna build up my meter. Alright, Chris. You, you, want, you want some of this? Huh? You asked for it. Pin him. Pin him. Pin him! I'm... Could not hold circle any harder there. Could not mash it any harder. Nope. Alright. Just the chair shot is not enough. We gotta time this just right here. To make sure he's in, in, in the middle of a hold. 
uh, before we actually, there we go, just, yeah, pick him up. Alright, we're set here, we're set, we're set, we're set, we're set, we're set. Oh, how did Chris Jericho get out of that? Seamus, don't you dare be sour. Don't you, he's being sour. Now we're all in the ring, isn't that, I, I was, Haha! -ha. Triple H, this, this, this should be it for him. Now watch one of these clowns get in the ring and, and break it up. Go, go, go! One! Two! Ah! I got it. Just barely. If Seamus had been a half second faster, he would have broken it up. But he didn't, and we somehow managed to win that fatal four-way for the first time on this show. So, that is a great end to a day. Uh, I've actually got to record tomorrow's later today as well because I'm going to be real fucking busy tomorrow. So, there's that. Uh, I got to go to the doctor for stuff. You know, the usual. Hey, I, I completed the authority uh, thing, which is amazing in and of itself. So, I would say that was a pretty successful day. We uh, got to the number one ranking, we thoroughly trounced Chris Jericho, and then we won in a fatal four-way. I think that, all things considered, that went pretty well. But tomorrow, we're fighting the future of this business, Seth freaking Rollins. Is he even in our rankings? What was it in our, in our uh, rankings here? We got Tyson. Where in the world did Tyson Kidd come from? Rank two all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, most of these guys that I'm fighting, like... Triple H is not in the rankings. He was just kind of there. He just got there. Wait. First of all, didn't we just pin Triple H? Or no? Did that just happen? We didn't. We're still very favorable with the authority. And we had Triple H in that match, which made no sense whatsoever. But hey, who am I to argue? Who am I to judge? That's just how it goes. So, tomorrow, Rollins. Uh, but for today... I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time and every day for more videos right here on this channel. And I'm out.